Now that we've created our first project, I want to go over the Visu Plus Express environment as a whole and touch on the windows that you'll be using while creating your HMI screens. The first portion of the Visu Plus Express environment I want to go over is the Project Explorer window here pinned to the left side of the software as you create your first project. There's a lot of powerful tools inside of the Project Explorer window, like creating alarms, scripts, data loggers, user access, for example, and we'll touch on those higher level topics in later videos in this series. For now, to get your project started, I wanna highlight the three main elements you'll need to use to create your first screen. The first is the Screens tab. Underneath this tab, you'll find all the screens you predefined while creating your project in the wizard. And if you double click on one of these screens, it'll bring it up into the workspace in the middle so you can create objects and, and link your variables and such. The second thing I wanna cover is the real-time DB tab. And under this is where you'll find your communication drivers to connect to your PLC and pull in your variables. Once those variables are pulled in, they'll show up under this variables tab here which is still under real-time DB, and you can use those variables or add a local variable here to link them to your objects to make different things happen on your HMI screens. Now moving from left to right in the software, you'll see the workspace in the middle of the environment, and this is where you'll make your HMI screens themselves by adding objects, linking variables, and adding different things for your HMI screen applications. And then moving to the right side of the software, you'll see three main windows that you'll be using. The first window you'll be using is the properties window. Most things you click on in Visual Plus Express have properties associated with them that you can edit. So for instance, if I click on the project name, you'll see a bunch of different project properties that pop up, which I can edit, which is nice. The second window you'll be using, and it's actually hidden by default, is the toolbox. So you can pin that to your screen and set this up however you'd like it. Uh, but inside of the toolbox window, you'll find basic shapes, controls, buttons, sliders, and a lot of the different objects you'll be adding to your HMI screens themselves. The third window you'll be using is the symbols library where there are a lot of predefined symbols that are created in these libraries that you can add to your project as well. So. Those are the main windows, and I did want to mention that you can move these windows however you like it, and when you move the windows themselves, you'll see these arrows, so you can pin it to the correct side of the software you'd like it, or you can move the window inside of another window so you can easily swap between windows. So that's the way I like to design, so that's the way I'll keep it, but I can easily swap from toolbox to properties to the symbols window very easily, which is nice.